Welcome to another one of my Magnetron sputtering videos. I made some various improvements on the design. Uh, I've eliminated the water cooling system. I see I get comments on that. Uh, but I no longer need water cooling. So the magnets are contained in, to, in this copper tube. And um, hopefully I'll publish some designs about, uh, about this later. And... And I have a little magnet here. Let's demonstrate that the field's there. And I built this like a little uh, cowling. It prevents uh, corona from forming along the sides of this tube, which I want to avoid. You want to keep my plasma focused up here in the target area. And I just kind of makeshifted some pieces of glass to support the slides I'm going to be uh, when you're sputtering the metals on a glass slide. So just kind of using tape and this uh, two support pieces of glass, I can adjust the height of the uh, the glass slide that I'm, I want to sputter across or sputter over. So before I do that, we'll demonstrate a few different elements we're going to be, be sputtering. We're going to be looking again at sputtering copper. I just have here a little chunk of copper. We're going to be looking at sputtering on silicon, and this is just a little chip of um, solar wafer, solar cell. So we'll be sputtering silicon and silver. In uh, American quarters, uh, made before some point in the 60s, uh, contained mostly silver. And this, uh, this is a 1957 quarter. I don't know if you can see it. But, yeah, American Quarters, um, before, I think, 62, have, uh, are mostly silver. So we'll take a look at that. Overview, I added a uh, milliamp meter. It says amps, but this is actually milliamps. So when we see the scale deflect, it will be a 500 milliamps at full scale deflection. And our kilovolt reading. Again, I have uh, this uh, digital vacuum gauge that I've used in other videos, and we'll be monitoring the pressure with that. So, let's set up and let's start with copper. Alright, so we're at 100 micron. Okay, here we go. Flying power. can see on your YouTube but this is a very green green light that's being produced by the copper very green plasma and we're drawing with that plasma we're really just drawing over a hundred mil or under a hundred milliamps it's like about 50 milliamps Copper is just glowing red from that. Uh... I have in here now just a piece of silicon wafer. Um, I had another. This is another one. You can see it has uh, this little bit of uh, scorch marks from the magnetron. Um, so it cracked a little, so I'm just putting in a new one. So this is a fresh piece of silicon. Energizing the plasma chamber.
I don't know if you can pick this up on the camera, but there's a, the silicon is creating a very uh, red-orange hue, much different from the copper that we saw earlier. We're drawing about 400 milliamps on the silicon. silicon polysilicon solar cell bit did crack under the heat so One, the mostly silver quarter is coming up next. All right, we're at pressure 110 microns. So it's powered up, see what happens. I'm not sure if you can tell this from the video, but the uh, the silver is a lot bluer than the other the other materials. One more time. And we're drawing about a hundred milliamps of current. Alright, so you can see from our experiments, definitely made an impact on the quarter. And we've accumulated some metal that's been deposited on the sides of our chamber. Now if you get a deposit like this, what I like to use to clean it is just a little bit of a, like a toilet bowl cleaner. <laughs> 